Hi, I'm Justine, and we're back at the Beard Brand Barbershop. Today we're gonna cut Jeremy's hair and give him a nice beard trim. Okay, so this is definitely a, a little uneven from your grown out buzz cut, you sure. said, right? Yeah, so. the COVID buzz cut, the at home hairdo. How long ago was that when it got buzzed? Well, I think the sides were buzzed about two weeks ago. The top was like down to a two, probably a month and a half, two months okay. ago, and it's grown out from that. All right. All right, so yeah, let's, uh, in order to do like some kind of style, yeah, let's keep your length on the top, add mm -hmm. some new texture, even out the front, since that's a little uneven just because of the way your hairline kind of grows down. But I know you'll wear it up, so once I cut off like the corner and even that out, it'll look good. And then we'll fade you up on the sides and do something a little bit more, uh, structure there Sweet. and kind of blend it down into the beard and then as far as the beard goes how much length do you want to ideally keep like where do you want to see like the end result of like the actual length because I know it hasn't been trimmed in a really really long time yeah uh, mostly want to so. get the dead the dead stuff off the bottom and get it a little more healthy and um, just take some weight out of it for sure. Yeah, I'd say some of this is probably a little bit more split, so once I can kind of smooth that out, it should lay down a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You want to keep your fullness through the cheeks here as much as we can? Is that helping, like, I know you have some calyx in here that kind of, like, dent in. Do you yeah. feel like keeping fullness in there kind of weighs that down a little bit, but you want to... Somewhat, but I do kind of want it tapered a, a little bit more. Um, I like to, like to look less like Santa Claus. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, because some of this is like a little too long where yeah, we need to kind of like is. even that out and follow uh, your face a little bit yeah. more like we've done kind of in the past. Mm -hmm. and especially through here where it's like, I know you've probably just been doing a little bit of at home grooming on the mustache and mm -hmm. like through here where this gets crazy. So I'll go back through, tidy that up and make sure this kind of blends in with here. Perfect. Because I think all of it might be slightly out of shape a little bit but it will definitely make it uh, healthier again. It actually hasn't been as bad as what I thought, but my favorite response is hearing people saying I watched a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> I started finding myself wearing like the same like five shirts over that were like mediums that just ran a little big. And then I would like make excuses like I'd see friends and I'd be like, oh yeah, I was wearing the shirt the other day, but it's just, I love it so much. <laughs> How to wear it again. I don't know if we've done it. We're kind of like cut the corners in and let some texture hang over, but I feel like we've done so many different variations of like <laughs> yeah. texture to it that. I really like we do it slightly different every time. Yeah. That's probably because I'm always just like, I don't know, go yeah. for it. <laughs> and not that you would ever do like the not the best job ever, but I also feel like you're like, oh cool, this is like mine. So now I'm gonna like yeah. be super badass. And I kind of just know what a lot of you uh you guys like after i've cut your hair for so long yeah. and the styles that you can work with and how you like to style your hair how low maintenance you want it to be or high maintenance <laughs> but yeah so the barber shop itself is actually like a little more new gotcha okay it's really cool i really like it yeah i'm excited to use uh some different products on you that i haven't used so so like your beard just needs like that extra care and some good products in it yeah it's been getting like a little, I don't know, crispier and I've been noticing it, it itches sometimes and I'm sure it's just because I'm using like hardcore hair gel on it. Yeah, I've been pretty bad about it. But I started watching like a lot more like Netflix documentaries. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. Which I like, I actually really enjoy and I feel like if I'm like really into it, then I won't like get on my phone and Sure, yeah, yeah, totally. You know, I'm like a little bit more distracted if it's like yeah. an interesting topic. Yeah. 
stops. <laughs> Most of your hair will probably be easily styled with a sea spray, but it's going to be even better once I can put in uh, some styling balm afterwards. <laughs> this one you think one product does an amazing job, two does an even better job. <laughs> okay, this is a styling balm. Sweet. I'm going to do that. Cool. It's not very much, but mm -hmm. it spreads really good, so. Oh, it just feels so much lighter. Just the haircut in general. Yeah, you know once I texturize it out, it takes all that extra weight out yeah. that you kind of hold in there. And I'm gonna weigh myself when I get home. <laughs> I don't think it'll hurt to like no, slightly I'm... like reset, keep it long, but yeah. bring it back up to where it starts to gain that fullness back and it's not all like split. Cause like even over here, it's kind of like uneven and I mean, see what I mean? Like yeah. length difference here. Yeah. You know? It's full blown deck dynasty right now. <laughs> they were joking at work. They were like, are you just going for Gandalf? <laughs> You're like, well, I mean, Halloween's around the corner. Yeah. Whatever makes the kids happy. <laughs> hey, I'm going in. Well, no, this is the new chemistry. And they, uh, they just haven't, like, got the killer instinct. Like, can you tell I'm going to like this? It's honestly, you know, I have some friends that have beards and they, they don't do anything to them at all. And it's... No. No, I mean, a lot of them don't even use product. Like a lot of brewers and stuff like that. And I, I just, feel like they, uh, those are the guys that should be, you know? Yeah, but it, it really doesn't feel good. I mean, like, I've thought about just shaving it off just because it doesn't feel good. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's it, a part of you, though. I, I haven't seen you without a beard. But with going all that time without having you work on it, it's just, it's super itchy and just, I don't know. Well, let's get it healthier. I just can't imagine. Shape it up. I just can't imagine how those guys do it, though. And then if you uh, decide to do the big chop, you got to come back in and see me and <laughs> make things extra exciting. I'm pretty positive now that I'm back seeing you that uh, I won't. You won't chop it off now? No. I'll see how Kel likes it. And if she wants it shorter next time, that's cool, but. Yeah. I guess it's just like, I just kind of nice and nice and It's been you this way. I just think it was the fact that it was getting so incredibly crazy. Yeah, it's like a sense of equally. Well, and you probably don't. Yeah. You probably don't want her getting in there and. No, 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 no. no, no. I mean. <laughs> Not so much. Okay, so you can probably tell just by even like what I'm doing, like I'm not like pulling on it too hard, but I'm just kind of like combing everything out and which the angle it's going to start to kind of fall just like what I've done in the past and kind of just chipping away at some of the the perimeter flyaways to get it a little bit cleaner so we don't want to dip into it too far we want to keep that fullness in there didn't you get a beard straightener at one point in time like a beard straightening comb yeah but it didn't really work it didn't work it was too the could work if I had a thinner, less. Yeah. I think I could use a hair. What what is what are chicks use hair straighteners? Mm -hmm. Like a legit. Yeah, you would probably need something stronger for yeah. yours, but honestly, like I feel like the look of your beard is nice, even with like the wave and the curl, that you don't really need to go in there and uh, yeah. disturb it too much. I feel like the best advice you can always give somebody is just like taking care of it, like washing it, putting stuff in it, you know, like honestly, like going to sleep on a beard when it's wet always kind of changes it a lot. So I feel like as long as you can get it mostly dry before uh, you go to bed, that's always kind of nice too. Yeah, I like 
almost 100% shower in the morning person, so yeah. that's never been an issue for me. That's good. I read this article that basically said, like, regular exercise, good sleep, um, protein in your diet, and regular sex helps with your beard. So I always tell people that, and they're like, oh, wow, that's Honestly, good advice. Honestly, healthy diet and, like, lots of, like, rest and stuff just in general for, like, Hair. Hair, skin, yeah. like, it just, like, creates a whole different, like, uh, lifestyle for yourself so your body starts functioning the way it should be, you know? So, well, even things with just, like, what you eat, too, for sure, you know, like. Well, then I'm surprised my beard doesn't look like a dumpster fire based on the last <laughs> three months of diet. <laughs> I mean, beer has... Minute, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just freehanding like Moses right now. I feel like you do a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. You can kind of like figure out exactly how much to do. So it's like the Some guys can't trim this area as much as you can because like they need that for that extra fullness but you have so much in there that if anything it just makes your beard look better when we get rid of some of it. This is where we kind of go and just start to like even everything out. Mm -hmm. I know like a lot of like people aren't comfortable doing a lot of freehand like work, but I feel like the more you start to do it, the easier it gets. The more you've done like the same client, the easier it gets. And I've done yours so many times that freehanding with the clipper is just kind of my go-to a lot of time with your beard. <laughs> Well, and like what I'm doing is I'm like kind of grabbing the sections all around your chin where you had all that like breakage and pulling it out and I know it's not going to be all healthy in there so I'm just kind of tripping off a lot of those like little dead bits here and there so that way when it does fall into the beard it can grow in healthier too. One place I've noticed a lot of issues is on the side of my mustache there. Through here? Like, yeah, and so I tried to adjust that the other day, so you may notice it's quite a bit different on one side than the other. I got a little zealous. <laughs> well, if I see something that needs to be evened out, I will. Oh, you will, for trust sure. me. For sure. Right in here, right? Yep. Yeah, and I'll take my edger and we'll touch up all through here. But right now I'm just literally only evening out both mm -hmm. your corners from here to there. I'm gonna switch to my must mustache comb. I like these guys because they they'll bend. So even for you guys at home, sometimes it's easier if you're trying to trim your mustache to have something more fine tooth and something with a little bit more of an angle. Mm -hmm. So when I trim the middle, I usually try to kind of scoop it in, flush across the lip hit the middle with that. Unless I'm like trimming up shorter beards, I always leave my client sitting upward when they're long like this because I want to be able to look in the mirror and follow the shape and see how everything falls. Especially if there's nothing that I need to like actually trim out from underneath of there. You can still achieve an angle by freehanding it while they're sitting up. 
Okay, through here, I usually don't take it too much lower than the middle of like the ear. Mm -hmm. But all this that gets crazy, a little bit long. Yeah. You know, I usually taper that. So since we already went down pretty low, I'm gonna start with my one guard. Taper some of that out. Drop it to a one and a half. Taper that out. <sighs> Still not going below that point. That utility bomb I was talking about that I really wanted you to try out. Okay, so I kind of took a finger glom out, but you can tell it kind of breaks down just like a regular bomb would. I like this stuff because it's not sticky. It's more conditioning and controlling than it is sticky. I've come across a couple of beard bombs that I really, really love, and then some that I absolutely hate because they don't spread through your beard. And with how thick your beard is, I feel like it doesn't do the job if you do not uh, make it all the way in there. So I'm using just pretty much what with all my fingertips and working it all the way down. It's like a little face massage. <laughs> the best part about these uh, these bombs is the mango seed butter in it. That's probably one of my favorite beer bomb ingredients of all time. I haven't came across a beer bomb that like I really like that uh, didn't have mango seed butter in it. <laughs> but I love the scent of this one. This one's the Tree Ranger. And then you just work it all through. But you usually work your product into your beard really good anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then do you use it mostly like your comb or do you use a um, a boar bristle brush or a little bit of both? Um, I have several different ones, but the uh, boar bristle is the one I like the most. Yeah. The small one like you just yeah. used. I have a larger one too, but I like the smaller one because I can get more detail. Yes, I agree. Do you think the, the lady will uh, appreciate the much more maintained and yes. beard? I look less wild. <laughs> Got a little less dash. Just doing a little bit more on the top, give them a little extra control for the day. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.